everybody welcome back got a quick little update on the 39 chevy coupe business coupe um so last little update was that i had to start working on it that was the biggest update and um i had an issue with my supercharger and i had glued the supercharger on backwards on the intake and I super glued it and I knew I had to separate that supercharger from the intake to be able to flip it well that didn't work out so good because I use I have some of this uh, where to go right here I had some of you mentioned too they make solvent um, anyway it breaks this stuff's old don't know where i got it but anyway um i believe this is it breaks the glue down if i'm not mistaken alcohol another base solvent to open let's see yeah to break existing bonds and i poured it on there it didn't work um i ended up breaking the supercharger or the intake it also i had a gloss to me a gloss paint on it and it, it ate the paint up that's fine it would have been a pain to get in there and try and clean that up but uh it i ended up breaking the front off of or the back off the intake and i thought great maybe i can just i thought well maybe i can just glue you know turn it around and glue that part on well that didn't work out either Oop, and now it's on the floor so it don't really matter so i had to regroup and i thought well dang have I got any supercharger? No, first I went and opened up this kit. The sedan delivery. Uh, my daughter Gracie bought me this for Christmas. I didn't want to rob nothing out of it, but I thought, well, it shows it right here with two fours, so I can build it with two fours and use the supercharger, but it don't have the supercharger. Even though it's the same kit, you know, pretty much, except for the, the body's got the, the panel. Anyway, didn't have a supercharger, so I was like, oh gosh. So I got to thinking like, what 3D printed engines do I have that have superchargers? And I have that big block Chevy. I'm not going to get it, but anyway, big block Chevy gasser engine that I've got on the website. And this is the carbureted. It comes, uh, when you buy that engine, it comes with two blowers. A blower for the carburetors, because it's got a little rise to it on top of the blower and... I thought, well, heck, maybe I can get that supercharger to work. So I uh, put it on there, and it was like, it was like, uh, obviously, this is 124th. This engine's more like 125th. Some of these engines are kind of in between ish. But anyway, yeah, way too small. So I said, dang it. But the length was. The length, length was pretty close. So I, I thought, why don't I want to try and scale a blower? So I went and I scaled, widened um, a couple of those blowers. Actually, this ain't the carbureted one. I should have done that because I had a little rise on it. But anyway, um, so I widened a couple of blowers. These two aren't the ones I used. I had like several different widths so I could then take and try them. Um, but it ended up working out and here's what I ended up with and I'm not using the carburetors it was these uh, dominator stop carburetors I'm not using those now um, I'm actually, here it is so I'm gonna use a bug catcher I call it a bug catcher some people call it a buzzard catcher and I think it is a buzzard catcher because if you look it up online the intake or the uh, injector so i was able to uh scale this one to where it would fit i sprayed that with uh ak super chrome that stuff's awesome let me tell you i you don't even have to spray it over black and you can spray it on heavy it's not like you got to miscoat it like those metal paints i just put 20 psi and laid it to it and uh, other than a little piece of trash right there it's darn good it's it's a darn good chrome look at that not much prep either to be honest with you i did sand just a little bit but anyway there's the blower 
And now, let me pop it off. And I don't know how this stuff is with handling it. It'll probably turn black if you're not careful, just like the rest of it. But this one... fits on there much nicer so and then I was like heck yeah that's awesome until I thought will it fit under the dang hood so I uh, frantically grabbed the chassis and stuck the engine in there you gotta love kit stuff though I mean 3d printed stuff is, is cool and everything but but you got to be a dang engineer sometimes when it comes to uh, mounting stuff. <laughs> Man, kit stuff is, look at that. I mean, it just, it's, it's there. It's mounted. And the headers work. So, uh, let's see if I can't do this without it all just falling apart. So I got the engine in it. And the blower on it. And I thought, well, that looks looks like it'll probably looks like it'll probably work. It's gonna be cool too. But uh, then I got looking. I'm like, oh no, not good. And then I took the hood and put the hood on it. And luckily, you don't have to have the grill on it for the hood to sit because it's got these little. Sorry, it's not in focus, but it's got those little edges that hold it up. And I put it on there. And the hood will fall off so easy but anyway it fit i mean close but anyway that's cool so now i got my engine blower problem all squared away and i'll be able to use the kit engine with a 3D printed blower and the buzzard catcher. That. I, those are for sale on the on the website too. Just the buzzard catcher. Alright. Um, so got that squared away. Good deal. I am going to still use the uh, kit wheels. I, I, oh. Just come off the toothpick. I like the kit wheels. They're, they're like Trans Am wheels. I think they're cool. I think it's going to still stick with that as far as kit. And then I ran into another darn problem. Let me turn you around here to this bench. I was working on my headlights. So if I can't get in here a little closer so you can see what I'm doing. So the headlights, I got my headlight um, chrome rings. Let's see, I don't think it got darker. So I got my chrome rings in there and I took Let's see which one is it and I installed my oh that's really bright now I installed my uh, headlight lens and it sticks out like I mean it doesn't go down in there it's not even the right size so I was like oh that looks terrible then I thought well maybe it's supposed to look like that I looked at the box and it, it's not and then again, I, uh, yeah, that's as far down as it goes. It doesn't, it doesn't accept it any farther. The, the ring is just not big enough for the headlight. Then I looked in that other kit because it is the same, right? It's the same kit. And, uh, it's got the same headlights, but guess what? They fit. So it's like they corrected that issue. The issue of the headlight lens actually being too big so I had to make an adjustment I took my headlight okay here's the modified one I took the headlight lens and I put it in the drill very gingerly like luckily on these monograms it's got that pin right let me get this thing back up so it's got that pin and I took it and put put it in the drill and spun it right and I took my sanding file and just you know just ran it just hit it some and then it, it, it got smaller you know that's what happens when you put sandpaper on plastic and spin it and then I inserted it back in there and darn if it's not 
okay so it was right size then but it was so it was so thick it still didn't go in far enough so I just took my hobby knife and just trimmed the depth because it has kind of a concave so I trimmed that and now I might need to do it a little bit more but now it fits in there a ton better look at that so yeah it looks a lot better so I'll just do the other one and I almost dropped it a couple times and sometimes when you drop it in this floor it just disappears but uh yeah so I got to paint my blower belt I made sure when I made that blower that my belt and everything fit you know what I'm saying the right height because I was like oh boy it's gonna be in the wrong spot or something but it wasn't it, it uh it was good and that, that's all that's all working out so this thing should go together fast I got my seats painted and my uh what dang what was the word I thought the other day because I, I like to do this uh anyway I can't think of the word right now but anyway I love doing this it almost looks like suede leather you put it on um you mist coat this uh where is it at and I, I, I'll hate it when I run out but it's the model masters um, leather that's the color of it and uh, got it for 99 cent when they were going out of, uh, when they were selling out at a Hobby Lobby is this stuff lacquer or enamel it, um oh geez read Matthew enamel but because I heard that some of the like the metal paints were like lacquers or something but anyway so I take that, mix it 50-50 with a uh, thinner, and I just mist coat it, and it's kind of hard for you to see it, but it's got that almost suede look to it. It's like got a almost like a dry coat over. I don't I don't paint it heavy at all. I just paint really far away and mist it, and it kind of dries before it gets there. But it it looks like leather to me. <laughs> you gotta love these big old high back seats. I guess that's probably the same seats that are in that. Yeah, same seats in the other kit, the new kit. But yeah, that 60s, 70s look. Big high back seats, but they're going to be cool. So got that done. And other than that, uh, got the headrest, headrest, the, uh, the headliner painted, and I got the floorboard painted. I just used craft paint. Black craft paint dries so fast. So got that painted. I'll get the interior in it um, the headers are already painted with a little bit of heat staining that you can hardly see on camera with a little blue and uh, heat stain the headers they're good to go so everything else except for the blower belts and the uh, alternator belt that's got to be painted pretty much everything's just ready to glue together as far as I know the grill looks amazing. It was painted up one of the metal colors that I use, but yeah, I dechromed that. Dechromed everything that was chrome. It, yeah, even the headlight rings. And got them all painted, so uh, bumpers look nice. I did see a post on Facebook on the model uh, uh, model car videos Facebook group, and uh, Trevor. No, was it Trevor? No, I can't remember. They were like, I used, he said, uh, he used the uh, Green Stuff World Chrome. And he said it didn't turn out near as good as he thought. Oh, this is the brushed. I put BR on there. This is the brushable. Although I have heard that you can uh, spray the brushable right through the airbrush too. But anyway, he said he didn't have any good luck with it. Um, it's very, very it's not difficult to get a good shine. I had several good people uh, tell me how to do it. You have to have the pressure low, super low. I do 10 PSI when I spray chrome. And when you, when you oh boy, there goes everything. When you spray it, um, for instance, let's say these wheels I sprayed. So first, the better, the best gloss you can get is going to make the best chrome finish so the higher your black gloss the better your chrome's going to shine 
Um, so if your gloss isn't that great, your chrome's not going to be that great. But when you spray your when you spray your um, your chrome, you want to get something to point with here. You want to spray it. Not I don't spray directly at it, right? I will spray. You spray at an angle, like a like an angle like that. And I'll just let's say if it's wheels, I always mount my wheels on a toothpick, and I will just lightly just barely missed it you don't want to put it if you put it heavy it's not going to be a chrome look it's just not now that super chrome stuff that i used it's totally different it's a totally different animal but uh yeah you spray it like at an angle really 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 light mist coat but you don't want from my from how i've done it you don't want to spray a coat let that it, it dries almost instantly too so you don't want to stop until you're done, right? You don't want to like, oh, that needs another shot. Because when you do that, I've always, it ruins my first finish. So you do a super light coat. And when you think you're about done, that's, you're done. Don't continue on. Because if you do it, you're going to ruin it again. You, too much is going to mess it up. Too little is going to mess it up. Just right. You know how the three bears thing is, right? Anyway, guys, I'm done with this video. I do want to show you one quick thing. Just a commercial. I got a few extra, a few new things. These are just a couple uh, on the website. And for you mud boggers, I have these uh, TSL Super Swampers in the turbine wheel. It's got uh, hubs. So this is for the this is like a rear tire hub. And then I've got the uh, also got them in the uh, bullet holes. And you can see it's got the uh, locker hub up front. Those are like. 1550s or whatever 15 inch rims and now i finally got the uh craigers just right with bf goodrich goodrich tires they're looking awesome so they're on there too and i got i got this lift so i may um had her somebody requested maybe i should do some like diorama stuff so i'm trying to do some a few things this is just thrown together um i didn't do a lot of cleanup or anything just threw it together but it's cool uh the all the arms are, um, they got little pins that come separately your arms can move this also these go up and down I just like stuck a toothpick under that one just so it would uh, hold it up, but they're pretty cool um, it, You you gotta like either make some kind of crossbar up here or mount like glue it down or when you put a car on it It wants to do that. So it has to be mounted um, But anyway, those things are are for sale got the two different kind. I do have a third kind of wheel that I'm about to print slotted like the old school slots but those are cool and uh, for you monster I mean uh, mud bogger type uh, that's all that anyway thanks for watching guys I appreciate you you're wonderful um, great been good to me so many times over and over and over and over I can't say thank you enough for all that you've done for me um, yeah I mean, really, I don't know if all these guys would be up here if it wasn't for you guys. It might be like if I didn't have this YouTube channel, it'd be something that I started again and quit again. But uh, the driving motivation to be a part of this community and by doing, you know, making content is, uh, it really is it's super cool. So thank you guys for pushing me and uh, encouraging me and supporting me in all, all the ways that you have. Don't forget to go check out hobbynutmodels.com. Velvet Red is, I think, the most beautiful MCW paint that I've shot so far. Um, that is gorgeous. Go check out hobbynutmodels.com. Grab yourself some MCW paint and all the fixings to go with it. Mark has been a great supporter of my channel, and I want to continue to support him um for a long time so you guys go check out hobbynutmodels.com it's always linked in the description of the video takes you right over there also my website mcvproducts.net go get you some of them big mud tires or whatever else i got got i'm trying to add and add and add so um you go check that out too thanks to my patreon guys you're wonderful i really appreciate it we'll get a live stream going soon and go check out the facebook group that um don't forget our classic monogram uh build contest classic monogram kit go check it out we'll go to the model for, model car videos facebook group uh it's pinned the post that you need to uh, enter in is posted or pinned at the very top of the page 
go up there add your picture say i'm in this is the kit i'm starting with and then uh i'll have we'll have a drawing april the 15th whenever the uh whenever it's done um that's the the final day submit your pictures and we're going to have a panel of judges we're going to judge them and i'll give away some stuff to first second third place anyways guys that's going to be a lot of fun i will soon have my video and uh my facebook post on the car that i'm going to build but anyway guys you take care thanks a lot thanks for the support and uh, hey we'll see you soon take care bye